Hi, I'm Yvette. I'm uh, here again for Bronco Day Online. So I've got three of our um, engineering design professors here to discuss a little bit further. So if you guys can just go around and introduce yourselves. We'll start out. I'm Lynn Catlin. I teach senior design and an elective in HVAC, uh, principles of HVAC. My name is Gus Engstrom. Uh, I teach senior design as well. Um, and I also work on some other uh, vertically integrated projects, um, various things. <laughs> My name is Sarah Haight and I teach uh, statics and uh, in the fall we'll be teaching uh, sophomore level design. Oh, that's great. So I know that all of you guys were engineers in your prior life before coming to Boise State. So can you tell me what you got, what your industry experience brings back to the students and how you can uh, maybe influence them a little bit differently? Yeah, I worked uh, for 20 years in the semiconductor industry mainly before coming to Boise State. And I worked around the world and I worked virtually for five years out of my home office in Boise and supporting facilities in Ann Arbor, Michigan and Mankato, Minnesota, as well as Singapore and Penang, Malaysia. And so I've worked with a lot of different cultures and a lot of different settings and a lot of different types of positions, both application engineering, process engineering, and design engineering. So that variety really informs my teaching in senior design. Great. Yes? I would say that my um, industry experience and what it, what it brings back is the, um, you know, doing things in theory is one thing and doing them in practice is, is quite another. It's, it's a lot of working with people. It's one thing to design a part and say, oh, I will machine this part. But when you have to then go find a machinist to make your part and make it to the, and get the dimensions that you want and the strength that you want and the quantities you want for the dollar that you want to pay, uh, those sort of things are, uh, you only get that in, in practice. And those are, the, the, there are lots of lessons and lots of, uh, lots of really humbling lessons that come with that. And I think that that's, uh, that's what, what we can bring back to the students that they may not get from, um, uh, from their you know, pretty academic education. Great. Yeah, so um, I worked in a lot of different industries before uh, coming back and teaching. Um, so I did automotive and locomotive and uh, motorcycle design. Um, and I worked on the design side and the manufacturing side. So um, it turns out that most things, or I like to think all things that are designed are actually going to have to sometime be built. And so um, bringing back the idea of um, kind of just going off what Gus said there of um, making sure that we understand how we're actually going to build it and not just designing it on a computer. Um, so being able to communicate those types of things to students, I think is really important. Great, great. And so um, as we kind of talk, um, a lot of the students are now learning that Boise State has changed their curriculum and we have now an extension of um, a design focus in our new curriculum. Uh, can you guys talk about what that design focus uh, curriculum brings to the student and why it's important? So we'll start again. At, we'll start, Sarah, and then we'll go back around. So, Sarah, if you want to. Um, so having a design uh, curriculum covered in every, essentially, so at, at, in the future, right, for sophomore through senior level, um, you're going to get a touch on design. And so you'll be able to see how your current, the classes that you're currently taking apply to what you are designing. So whether that's statics or thermodynamics or uh, heat transfer, uh, whatever that concept is that you're learning, you'll lear get to you know, see how that, does, that goes back into design and how those concepts can go back and forth. Um, and it's also going to open up some different ideas and some doors on um, problem solving, which is what we do as engineers all the time. So um, getting it every year um, instead of just in your seat um, it's going to be, I think, really beneficial and helpful to kind of solidify um, how everything connects together. All right, thank you. Go ahead. I'll take that um, from, you know, as Sarah said, uh, I mean, engineers are, you know, we're ultimately problem solvers and, and doers, and that's, that's really our job. And, and whether, even though we do a lot of math and science and all kinds of other fun stuff during the time here, um, you know, that's, that's essentially what we are as problem solvers. And design is the, 
is the biggest problem, you know, uh, creating, you know, just having nothing but a problem and then having to, uh, to pull something from, from nothing into existence and, and work and be able to predict how long it's going to work and how much it's going to cost is, um, you know, that's the, that's, that's the huge problem. So, um, the, the earlier we can get people, um, involved in problem solving and start building, um, you know, problem solving skills and start realizing and learning who they are as problem solvers um, and who they are as engineers. You know, you, you learn a lot about where you're comfortable and where you're not. And, and maybe you want to work on the things that you're not comfortable with, or maybe you want to embrace the things that you, that, that you are comfortable with. So I think that uh, I'm really excited about that, that experiential STEM. Great. Yeah, it, you know, the going theme here is problem solving. And it really is something where by bringing what we used to teach at the senior level down closer to sophomore, junior level, we're going to be hoping to instill some tools and some thought processes that you can use not only in your classes as you go into the core of the engineering, but you can bring to internships and other activities that you do. Uh, as Gus alluded, everything that we do is solving problems. And whether you're figuring out how to do an experiment, whether you're figuring out how to design the SAE Baja car, whether you're figuring out how to get something done in an internship, you're trying to assemble messy data into a workable solution. What is a real problem? And so I think just having that backbone of design will really help bring it out more, more than just designing a widget, it's solving problems. Great, thank you. Yep, that's uh, extremely helpful. Um, and the, the last question I have for you is, if you guys can go back to when you were a freshman, what advice would you give your freshman self? And we'll start with Gus and we'll go up to Lynn and then we'll end with Sarah, so. Um, it's not about grades. <laughs> you know, I, my dad did tell me that, you know, um, college is about uh, education and not vocation. So, so I did go in there with a pretty good idea of, you know, I wanna learn something. Um, but uh, it is about learning and grades do often reflect learning. But, um, you know, be sure to embrace all the other things that are going on around you. You know, you're an engineer, like, uh, go to some ballet recitals, you know, go, go, go meet somebody who's, uh, who's majoring in philosophy, you know, go, you know, go to a football game. I don't care if you don't like football, you know, that's, um, you know, embrace the, the resources that are around you. Um, you know, learn, learn, learn about lots of things and get good grades. But, um, but there, there's, there's, a, there's a lot out there, you know, and there's, there's a lot to be explored. So um, don't think that you, uh, you know, I guess may, maybe I'm alone in this, but I, you know, at 19, I thought I was pretty smart. So, um, uh, you know, I thought, I thought that I knew what, what I wanted to learn, but really the more you learn, the more you realize, you know, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm more interested in these things than I thought I was. Great. Lynn. Yeah, um, don't be afraid to try something new. Um, a lot of people that know me yeah. wonder why I became an engineer and not a park ranger. And they figure, okay, you're going to sit at a desk and design stuff and not be outdoors, which is where you want to be. Um, you really can mix that stuff. Uh, I started my career, as I mentioned, I worked in the semiconductor industry. No reason I couldn't have gone to work for a climbing equipment manufacturer back in the mid nineties. Um, I just didn't take that path. And that's okay. I don't regret it. But it's something that you can do. I mean, college is an excellent opportunity to explore a lot of different things. There's no commitment there. Um, go try different stuff and go see different things. Um, and, you know, fail fast, fail often in what you try, not your class. But Thank you. Sarah? Yeah, I would... Um, I was a typical engineer, so um, I didn't do much in the ways of fun. So um, I would tell myself to go have some fun. And exactly what uh, Lynn and Gus said, right? Don't be scared and um, learn things. And your schooling is really important. Um, but, you know, learn how to have relationships with your friends. Um, learn how to work with other people. Um, learn how to, you know, just communicate and, um, you know, and don't, don't just, you know, learn for the class and then purge at the end of the semester because all the engineering concepts connect together 
And I would like to really tell my freshman self to, you know, make sure even if you don't <laughs> like thermodynamics, learn the material because you'll see it again. So um, I think those are kind of the, the main things that I would tell myself as a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. So do you guys have any additional uh, thoughts or insights that you guys want to share with uh, any of the students on uh, Bronco Day Live or Bronco Day um, online, excuse me? Get involved. There is so many things to do in and around campus that uh, volunteer organizations that drive towards your personal interests in, in giving uh, Boise is a rich community to give back to. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities for all kinds of activities and organizations, um, even private organizations that aren't with the university, such as the Boise Valley Fly Fishers and so forth, that you really can enrich your life uh, well beyond the textbook just by getting involved and making those connections and networking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll piggyback on that unless, unless Sarah was about, about to jump in. Uh, just that, you know, that, that Boise is, um, you know, Boise State's more than just a university in a town, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's, it's part of Boise and Boise is something, something unique. And there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. When you, when you go, when I travel places, um, you know, uh, anybody who hasn't been to Boise doesn't, you know, they're, oh, you're from Boise. Like they don't, they don't have any questions about it. They're not excited about it at all. But everyone who has been to Boise says, oh my gosh, you know, you're from Boise, my sister. And they're, they're really excited about it. There's, there's a lot happening here. And it's very, um, it's very entwined with the university. The university is a big part of the city and the city is a big part of the university. So, um, and, and like Lynn said, there's, there's so much going on um, the, you know, in addition to, to what you get on campus. Great. Yeah, it's just a fun place to be. Um, it's sunny most of the time. People are really nice. Um, Boise is just a really beautiful and nice place to be. So not only do we have, you know, wonderful instructors um, on campus and people that care about you and your education, the city is fantastic. So good place to be. Well, great. Thank you. And then uh, Gus, I know that you are, uh, we'll close it with uh, Gus is our- uh, I'm supposed to play our, our, Yeah, he's our uh, resident musician in our department. And uh, <laughs> just kind of a quick thought is, um, how has being an engineer helped with your, you know, music, music um, I guess, uh, talents or music like adventures? Uh, I don't know if it's, I think you'll find that a lot of, um, a lot of engineers and a lot of scientists are musicians and a lot of something yeah. about the, um, there's a connection between music and math and, and uh, I don't, I don't know what it is, but uh, um, I think it helps in, in, uh, Music is when you're playing music, it's it's almost meditative. You don't you don't have to think. Maybe that's it. Is that is the engineers and mathematicians are people who uh, spend a whole lot of time thinking, and music is a good way to um, to turn a lot of that off and just be in the moment. So uh, okay. I don't know. I didn't really prepare. I didn't re prepare anything here. I'll. Uh... Can you hear that? Should have tuned first. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Gus. I appreciate it. I would just want to say I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this and uh, go Broncos. Welcome. Yeah, go, Broncos. go Broncos. Go Broncos.